This is the new Snapmaker U1. I got it in studio and I got it out of the box as fast as I could. These are the motors on the side that drive the filament through the tubes and they go in super easy. PTFE tubes connect from them to the top. The spool holders just press into slots on the side and then they lock into place. This is the head. This has everything to melt plastic with. And when you take the cover off, you can see that it has a somewhat familiar look to it, but it means easier to repair. The cables and the PTFE stands have to be screwed into place. There's four in total and you just want to make sure you do it correctly. The other ends of those cables have to get plugged in and screwed into each of the print heads. And again, take your time. Make sure you do it correctly. The final PTFE tubes go on the top. Once those are in, add these little clips. They clip the wires to the tubes and keep everything standing upright and in a good spot. One of the coolest things about this machine is that it takes the filament and pushes it through the tubes on the side for you. It's the best thing ever. The first print it has you do is this multicolor dragon and it was looking really good. When the print was done, I went over to the machine, opened the door and took a look. And this dragon looks fantastic. It's the four filaments that are included with the machine and it laid these down. Again, this is an example print, but that means that everything is calibrated really well. I'm really, really happy with this because I have some really cool projects in mind for this and having a machine that can do this at the touch of a button is very advantageous. Well, little dragon, thanks for coming into this world. Uh, thanks for letting me use the printer.